Hey YouTube, pretty excited about this one. I uh, picked up this go-kart a while ago, a month or two, on uh, just the Facebook marketplace, Got went down to Regina to get it. It was basically a rolling chassis. The guy had a 20 horse Comet K55 engine on it that I could not get to run like at all. A little idle, but nothing else. Anyways, that wasn't doing me much good because it's a 17,000 RPM engine and I was planning to use this thing off-road. Which, stock, not very conducive to off-road with that entry clearance. I mean, this thing handles like a dream, but not what I needed. So I got a pretty good price because it's a pretty old cart. I believe it's a Swiss Cutlass cart. The uh, It's been a bit of research to try and figure it out. Like, the engine's from the late 80s or early 90s. But um, anyways, took that engine off. And it's a really tiny engine, but I fabbed up an engine mount out of some 8-inch C-channel. And that's working pretty slick for this Honda motor. I had to do a, a pretty major offset from original because I ended up putting a, a uh, Comet torque converter, which basically if you take off this cover, it's like any snowmobile clutch out there. It's pretty light duty. They rate it up to 10 horse. and. This is only like a six or seven horse engine. So um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's honestly, I've driven it around the yard just as is and it's pretty sweet. It's geared down quite low, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm putting these bigger tires on just as soon as my rims come in, which I got from Cartworks Canada and hopefully they fit. These tires are a half inch narrower than the rims. Like these are for a six and a half inch wide rim and the or sorry, these are for a six inch wide rim and the rims I ordered are for a six and a half inch width. But um, hopefully they stretch, I got tubes. Yeah, this thing's actually like rock solid. I'm super stoked. Like with this guy, it just it mounts to the engine. Like I'm sure you guys have seen these. You can get them at Princess Auto or wherever. But it mounts to the engine and then it just comes, has a solid plate here, bearing for the jack shaft essentially. And then yeah, it doesn't work with the uh, standard like the GX engines that everybody loves to use, which from my research are a little more solid and robust than the GC series. Like the GC has a completely vertical piston, which is what you need because the GX pistons run back on an angle and that interferes with the jack shaft down there. Because as you can see, it's already quite tight. But um, you take the fuel tank off, I just mounted it up there with some zip ties, but whatever, works just fine the thing starts like a dream setting up the throttle was a bit of work it's not like it's not the ideal system on here so we just fabbed up a mount and some springs to help it along but you know it works just fine kill switch easy to wire in just ground interrupter and uh yeah i mean i can start it up real quick like a Honda so the rims are well they shouldn't be too long they came off the back order finally I got a bigger seat because I can barely squeeze my butt into this one I got an extra large hopefully it fits I mean nothing's cheap about these carts it's all expensive and but hey if it's rock solid and it works great then whatever I'm excited to use it I'll guess I'll see you guys next time I have an update